let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. forward to, to going up to Atlantic City. Uh, conference tournaments are one of the most fun things in, in college basketball and we're excited to be part of it. Great to have a bye so we can go right to Atlantic City and looking forward to playing UMass. Uh, you know, a team who's won two games in a row versus two very good teams. So uh, it's been a while since we played them and only once. So um, uh, we brushed up and, and hopefully we'll be prepared for the game and, and ready to play. Yeah. Well, the buy is a huge advantage, you know, and, and I'm always in favor of anything that, that um, rewards the regular season teams who've played well. So the, you know, the one seed should have the most uh, reward, the two seed, and so on and so forth. So getting the buy is a goal probably of all the teams in our conference, and for us to have it um, is great, and, and uh, it does give us an advantage. It gives us an advantage not having to play last night, which is the biggest advantage. And then also as we look forward to kind of Going into this game, you know, UMass, I assume, flew back um, and then has to get down to Atlantic City, whereas we can, we've kind of known, we've known when we were going to play uh, for a while and where, obviously, and now it's just the who was decided last night. So it, it, does, it definitely is an advantage, and, and uh, I think from a confidence and, a, and an outlook um, standpoint as much as anything. We're, we're definitely a very confident team right now, and I think we've earned that by how well we've played and having won a lot of games in, in many different ways. So, uh, you know, I, I don't worry about our confidence because we're, we're a veteran team. We're a team that's, that's been in, in difficult situations a lot throughout the last few years. And uh, I think we're going in there with a good mindset, not overconfident, but certainly very confident that, you know, that we can win our, win our first game and hopefully, hopefully have a chance to be a contender for the title. I think so. I think the fact that these last three games have been so competitive, uh, they've been very exciting. Uh, I think they're all good experiences to have, and and I think that, you know, when our um, when we looked at the schedule, I think everybody looked at the schedule. And those last three games were going to be difficult. Two of them on the road, uh, Xavier, Dayton, Charlotte are are going to be good teams in this conference forever, and. Uh, you know, so I think for us to have played in such highly competitive games, to have been successful in two of them, to play in a great game at Xavier, I think that does help, especially since we had a little bit of break going into the conference tournament, that we get the chance to rest a little bit. Uh, but I think playing in games like that and environments like that is always positive, especially when you when you can win more than you lose. Really proud of, of how our guys have handled everything. They, uh, you know, I think the most important thing to them is is our team's success, and so everything that we've that comes with the success, whether it be extra attention or more responsibilities, they've handled in stride, and they know that you know that this this is a result of a lot of hard work from from mostly the players, but also the coaches uh, and the support staff that we have, and I don't think they they want to give it up that easily. So I think they're very, very concerned just with uh, our next opponent, our next game, and uh, making sure we play as well as we can. We'll speak to them, and, and we have talked about it a, a little bit. Uh, you know, we're, you know, we're going to play in the, uh, in the, in the NCAA tournament. We're also going to play in the A-10 tournament. We're going to play in the NCAA tournament. Uh, and, John, to be honest, I, I think that um, I don't get a sense that our guys are overlooking anything. You know, we, we're, we're still – a team that I think plays with a little bit uh, with something to prove and feels uh, that, that we can still do some things in this conference. You know, I, I think there's a feeling there that we're very close to sharing the conference championship and, and a double overtime loss on a, at Xavier kind of prevented that. So I think we feel that there's still some, some things to prove and uh, we'll worry about the NCAA tournament come Sunday night, but for now our focus is, uh, is squarely on UMass and, and the A-10 tournament. Can you talk about UMass a little bit? Well, you know, I'll tell you that they we had a, re, a very good game with them here that went to overtime, and Darius blocked 14 shots, which, you know, really won the game for us. Uh, they have Ricky Harris, who I think is the leading scorer in the conference, the leading active scorer in the Atlantic 10, an explosive player. They're talented. They're deep. They play, they're athletic. They play a lot of guys. Uh, this is a good team, a team that, you know, like I said, just beat Rhode Island and Charlotte, a pair of, you know, 19-win teams who are in the top – probably 60 in the RPI. So uh, this is a good team and a team that certainly has our attention. And, and uh, you know, like I said, it took us overtime to beat them here. So it wasn't like, 
it, you know, I, I think the, you can throw the seeds out the window, and the, if they upset somebody in the first round, th that all doesn't matter. We, we just know that we had a tough game with them here, and um, we know that they're probably feeling very good right now, and, and it's up to us to go out there and play well. You know, I would have to say the biggest thing is probably, you know, we have such good guards, and uh, they're, both their decision-making and their ability to score uh, is very important. And, and second, I would say our defense has been, um, has been, I would say, very good to great almost every game this year. And so, you know, if, you're, if you have guards who can take care of the ball, run the team, and score, and then at the defensive end you're very good, that's going to give you a pretty good chance to win games. That's a good point because I, I remember we had a possession where I, I really thought maybe I should have called timeout with about three and a half to go, and we didn't have a great possession, and that would have been a good time if we called timeout to put Kevin back in. Um, but at the same time, we, we were—I thought we still played well. Uh, I, I think obviously Kevin is the one guy, well, is one of the guys on the team that we, we really—it's very valuable to have him on, on the floor 40 minutes per game, and uh, especially down the stretch. Um, but at the same time, we feel like our depth is so good that we can go long periods of time with multiple di multiple groups on the floor. You know, and it, it doesn't. It's it's been different probably every game for the last eight. Who's in? You know, it's usually Kevin, David, and Ryan, and then those other guys kind of depending if it's offense, defense, or who's playing well in the other three spots. Uh, but even even losing Kevin, I thought we were able to really continue to play well, continue to fight. Uh, and give ourselves a chance for when, when he was able to come back in the game. But that would be a great accomplishment. Um, you know, winning a conference tournament at this level, you know, one of the very best conferences in the country, th that means you've beaten three really good teams in three days. Um, and it also, you know, there's also the idea that, uh, you know, I think the regular season champion should be more recognized, but to, to win a conference tournament uh, where it's so exciting, where everybody's going for, for that one goal and you're all there for those three days, that would really be a, a remarkable achievement. So, you know, I, I hope that it happens and it can break any which way. Um, we're more, a little bit more focused on UMass, but I, I think we do have a chance and I think that would just be, um, it would really be a significant accomplishment for Richmond.